Welcome to Daniel Smith's Color Showdown. This is episode six, and in this episode, we are going to be comparing Bordeaux with Quinn Violet. Now, Bordeaux is one of my favorite colors on my palette. I love, love, love this color, but I have to put my hand up to the fact that it is pretty similar to the Quinn Violet. They are both series two, so price doesn't really come into it, but it will be really, really interesting to see exactly what the difference between these two are. So let's take a closer look at each one of these colors and then we'll come back and compare the two together. First up, we have Bordeaux and it is a single pigment color of PV32. That is the Benzimidazolone Bordeaux. Daniel Smith's website says, a durable staining azo pigment, Bordeaux is a velvet wine color. Its slightly granular, semi-transparent property works well with blotting, misting and salt application techniques. Replace lifeless muddy mixtures with this pigment. Try painting a scattering of cranberries with Bordeaux mixed with a small touch of antiquanodone red or French ultramarine. Blot highlights and when dry add details such as blossoms or stem ends of berries. Then add a connective shadow. It is a series two color. Its light fastness is classified as very good, which is one down from excellent. It is a semi-transparent color with medium staining and non-granulating properties. Next up is a quinacridone violet, and it is again a single pigment color of PV19, that is a gamma quinacridone, and we know that PV19 is one of those pigments that gets used in a wide variety of colors. Daniel Smith's website says, a deep reddish violet, queen violet disperses evenly with a slight granulation and moves from deep darks to clear glowing washes. Like all quinacridones, it is an extremely light fast organic pigment. In terms of complementary couples, quinacridone violet mixes best with a cleaner primary green, highly durable and extremely transparent. All the Daniel Smith quinacridone colors excel in vivid clarity and intensity. It is a series two color. It is classified as excellent in light fastness, transparent, high staining and non-granulating. Welcome back, the paints have dried. This side is Bordeaux and this side is the Quinn Violet. Overall impression, I can see that the Bordeaux is a warmer hue than the Quinacridone Violet. Quinacridone Violet has a general coolness to the colors, whereas the Bordeaux has a cooler, earthier tone to the hue. So let's take a closer look at each of the tests we did and then we'll come back and compare the two together. As for washes, this side is Bordeaux and this side is Quinacridone Violet. Both colors will give you a vast range of value from the really, really deep, intense color all the way to a lovely wash. When you do the wash, you can definitely see a huge difference between the two colors in that the quinacridone violet it washes out to a much cooler violet than the bordeaux bordeaux is a much warmer violet color they are both quite prone to cauliflowering on all the different papers so when you want to make a wash with either of these two colors, you are going to want to be careful with your water control if you want to avoid the cauliflowering. Because of the wide range of values you can get with these two colors, the transition from dark to light can sometimes be quite stark in contrast, like you can see here and here. In terms of opacity, lifting and glazing, up here is your Bordeaux and down here is the Quinacridone Violet. In terms of opacity, the Bordeaux is classified as semi-transparent, whereas the 
Quinn Violet is classified as transparent and I do agree with this. I can see a color change on the black line that is happening here. It's become like a warmer color whereas with the Quinn Violet it's still a nice black line. So yes, I can definitely say that the Bordeaux is semi-transparent. In terms of lifting, Bordeaux is classified as mid-staining and Quinn Violet is classified as high staining. And as you can see, I did manage to turn this strip into a little bit of a white colour than in the Quinn Violet. However, they are both very highly staining colours. You are going to have a harder time lifting these two colours anyway. So I kind of feel like the slight difference in the whiteness of this lifting line, it doesn't come into it as much as just they are both very highly staining colours. As for glazing, they both glaze very well. However, I just like the hue of the Queen Violet glaze. I think it's a nicer colour to glaze with than with the Bordeaux. The Bordeaux kind of starts having a earthy undertone to the colour if you put it on too thickly or if you start glazing a lot with them. Whereas the Queen Violet keeps that lovely vibrant colour going. In terms of gauzing, neither of them are good at producing linear patterns. As for salt, the Daniel Smith description did say that the Bordeaux is very good for doing effects with, and I have to agree, it, it creates amazing patterns, small, small patterns, and numerous number of them. It has reacted really well. The Queen Violet did react very well to the salt as well, but when you compare the two together side by side, you can see that the Bordeaux reacts a little bit more to the salt than the Queen Violet. In terms of water blooms, again, Bordeaux does very well in reacting to water blooms, whereas the Queen Violet does react, but not as much as the Bordeaux does. Let's take a look at how these two colours mix with other colours. And for reference, here are the colours I mixed these two colours with. So this is what these 12 colours look like when you mix it with Bordeaux. And then this is how these 12 colours look like when you mix it with Quinacridone Violet. For something like the Queen Violet and Bordeaux, the complementary colour is going to be the yellow green. So with the permanent green, you do get the most neutralised colour. However, I'm not the biggest fan of either of these colours. I think if you want a nice, strong, neutralised colour, you're better off, off going slightly more to the warmer side by mixing quinacridone rose with a nice green colour because then you are going to get a nice dark inky neutralized colour. We said earlier that the Bordeaux is a warmer colour and quinacridone violet is a cooler colour and you can see the difference in the temperature of the hues come in when you mix it with other colours. So Bordeaux being a warmer colour it creates a nicer warmer colour mixes such as the reds and the warmer pinks and oranges as well. However, because the quinacridone violet is a cooler colour, it does a much better job when it comes to mixing the violets and the blues and the greens. You get a much cleaner colour, whereas you get a much more muted kind of mixes with the blues and the greens down here with the Bordeaux. However, I have to say I am loving this Bordeaux with ultramarine blue mix. It is really intense and granulating and two-tone and that's really, really lovely. In conclusion, although the two colours look similar, Bordeaux is the slightly more highly tinting one of the two you can get a much stronger colour mixes with the Bordeaux than you can with the Quinacridone Violet. And because of the temperature differences, you are going to get a brighter mixes in your warmer colours with the Bordeaux and you get a much brighter mixes with your cooler colours with the Quinacridone Violet. So really, 
which one would you go for is mostly down to what colors do you tend to mix the most with. If you tend to mix more with the warm colors, then go for the Bordeaux. And if you mix with the cooler colors, then go for the Queen Violet. Or you can have both and then pick which one to mix with depending on what color you are going to mix. They are both highly tinting, highly staining colors that react very well to salt and water, but not to the gauze. As for me personally, I've always loved the Bordeaux, but I do now also appreciate the Quinacridone Violet, especially in how clear it glazes, whereas the Bordeaux, you get the earthy tone coming through if you put too many layers on top of each other. I am kind of starting to think maybe I should have both on my palette and as I said before, decide which one to use depending on what other colors I'm gonna be using in that painting. Which would you go for? Would you go for the Bordeaux, the Quinacridon Violet or both? Do let me know in the comments down below. And if you love using either of these colors, then please let us know in the comments down below for us to what you like using these colors with. I hope this video inspired you to play with some very intense, rich tones on your palette. If this video was useful and interesting to you, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel already. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye!